11 Weird Artificial Animals. Number 11, the Roebuck Tix T8. This little robot contains an astonishing 26 small motors inside of its 3D printed case that allows the spider to move in a way that will definitely scare anyone afraid of these animals. Every single one of the spider's legs contains three motors, with two more used to animate the robot's abdomen, letting it strike frightening lifelike poses. The 3D printed spider bot runs on a microcontroller that is powered by a movement engine called Bigfoot Inverse Kinematics. The person controlling the spider uses a wireless controller and can select a gate to tell the spider in which direction to move in, thus making it perfect for stealth attacks scaring your friends. Number 10, the Robird. A company in the Netherlands called Clear Flight Solutions has created these robotic falcons in order to scare off other birds. Dubbed as Robirds, they act like real falcons and eagles and are remote controlled by an operator. Just like a real bird, these robots have to continuously flap their wings to stay in the air. These robots are entirely made out of 3D printed glass fiber and nylon composite. They're then painted to give them a more lifelike appearance. These are so effective that up to 75% of birds have been frightened off by them in local areas. Number 9. The Festo Smartbird. The Festo Smartbird is flown by a radio handset, but it can also just glide through the skies if left on its own. The robot, which only weighs just under a pound, steers itself by moving its tail to the side and then turning its head from side to side. Getting its design concept straight from the herring seagull, the scientists at the technology firm Festo are able to command the up and down flapping motion of the robot's wings by spinning two wheels located inside the robot's torso. The wings not only flap up and down, but they're also able to twist at certain angles, giving the extremely light model excellent aerodynamic qualities and extreme agility. Number eight, the Aqua Penguins. The Aqua Penguins were made by the German company Festo, a pioneer in the field of automation technology who gather their inspiration from nature. These life-size bionic birds are hydrodynamic and are capable of turning like a real penguin thanks to the flexible glass fiber rods that command their heads. The robots are moved by sophisticated wings that also allow them to navigate in small areas. Each wing is made up of a spring steel skeleton that's coated with elastic silicon. This is what lets the flippers rotate at the best angle for each stroke. But unlike penguins, these robots are able to swim in a backward motion. And lastly, each one of these robots comes with a 3D sonar, an idea taken from dolphins that assist them in moving amongst themselves while also communicating with one another to prevent from crashing into each other. Number seven, Zero, the robotic jellyfish. Meet Zero, the robotic jellyfish that happens to be powered by a rechargeable nickel metal hydride battery. Its skin is built out of a thick layer of silicone to give it that authentic jellyfish feeling. It's draped over the device that houses the electronic guts of the robot. This lifelike autonomous robot jellyfish is the same size and weight as a grown man. Created by researchers at the Virginia Tech College of Engineering, it happens to be a larger robotic jellyfish modeled after one that the team built back in 2012 named Robo Jelly that could fit into the palm of your hand. The team is led by Shashank Priya of Blacksburg, Virginia, who's the professor of mechanical engineering at Virginia Tech. Number six, the Robo Raptor. The Robo Raptor has two strong legs made out of carbon fiber that can drive it to speeds of 28 and a half miles per hour, which is just fast enough to win a race against Usain Bolt. It weighs just under seven pounds and comes equipped with two Achilles tendons that help absorb shock. The contraption was built by a team of engineers at the Korea Advanced Institute of Science and Technology and has a component that simulates a tail that enables the raptor's body to stabilize itself as it jumps over obstacles. For that to happen, the tail has to swing itself from side to side to act as a counterweight. The researchers throw boxes onto the treadmill and the Roboraptor does a fair job of being able to navigate itself over them. Number five, the robotic cheetah. This robotic cheetah was created by Dr. Alfred Rizzi, who's the technical lead for the project and chief robotic scientist at Boston Dynamics. The robot is capable of reaching a speed up to 28 miles per hour on the treadmill, which is quite a challenge and an accomplishment in itself. Initially, Dr. Rizzi states that the ultimate goal for his team is to create a robot that moves entirely free outside without having the need to be hooked up to any cables. They're currently working on another project to help achieve this goal that's called the Wildcat that they claim should be ready for testing within a few years. The construction of these military robots is made possible by the US government research agency DARPA. Number four, the big dog. This quadruped robot 
was fabricated back in 2005 by the company Boston Dynamics, along with Foster Miller, the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and the Harvard University Concord Field Station. Entirely funded by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, the robot was supposed to act as a pack mule for US soldiers on active duty. However, the engine that was powered by the petrol was, alas, too loud to be placed in combat, and all work on the project halted towards the end of December 2015. Another similar attempt at this project was carried out with a robot named Spot, but that one was scrapped as well. Number three, the Legged Squad Support System, also referred to as the LS3. This was a DARPA project that was for the creation of a robot that was able to operate autonomously as a pack horse for a team of soldiers or marines. Unlike its predecessor, Big Dog, the LS3 was specifically designed and adapted for military usage, with the power to maneuver in a multitude of different terrains and environments. The legged squad support system was capable of carrying up to 400 pounds of equipment and was able to work quietly when needed. Unfortunately, there were complications with this robot as to the way it wasn't quiet enough and how to repair it should it become damaged. Initially, the Marine Corps decided not to integrate it and it was placed into storage as of late last year. The entire project cost $42 million. Number two, an artificial stingray. Not entirely robotic and not entirely a living creature, but a hybridization of the two. This artificial stingray was created earlier this year by a team of Harvard genetic engineers that were led by a bioengineer named Kit Parker. Constructed out of rat cardiac cells, a gold skeleton, and some breast implant, the stingray is capable of moving thanks to the living rat cells that respond to light. The rat cells were kept alive and fed by a special liquid that the stingray swims in that contains suspended nutrients. It should be noted that the stingray would not have been able to survive outside of the lab because it doesn't have an immune system to protect it from infections. Before we reveal number one, let us know in the comments below which one of these weird creations you liked best, and don't forget to subscribe. Number one, an animal with artificial information. Scientists from the Medical Research Council Laboratory of Molecular Biology in Cambridge have managed to alter the genetic code of nematode worms, millimeter-long creatures that only have a thousand cells inside of their transparent bodies. The group validated the results by using a fluorescent dye. An artificial protein that they placed inside the worms' DNA carries a fluorescent dye that emits a cherry red glow when viewed under ultraviolet light. For the method to actually work, the protein needs to be replicated in each of the worms' bodies in order for the worms to completely light up under the rays. This technique could eventually pave the way for scientists to manufacture new, man-made qualities in a wide variety of animals.